Hello and welcome back to Open, everyone. Uh, you know, we're always inviting you to get social with us. That's right. Tweet us at Roxnet TV, and while you're there, tweet me too at Rina Valentin. So September 16th will make one year since Hurricane Maria hit the island of Puerto Rico and uh, leaving the people in a state of shock and devastation still a year later. Till today, the island uh, still lacks the resources it needs and, um, and a lot more. So just recently, it was reported that the death toll from Hurricane Maria is uh, almost up to like 3,000. Um, there's a lot of controversy with the numbers there, right? Some say more, some say less. However, it's 50 times more, if not more than 50, <laughs> than 64 of the death toll that was previously recorded, all right? There are not 64 people who have transitioned. There's thousands of people. And so basically that means Puerto Rico still needs our help. And in September, a silent procession will be held uh, once again to focus uh, the nation's attention on the neglect of U.S. citizens of Puerto Rico. And joining us to tell us more, we welcome founder of the of Silent Procession NYC for PR, Carmen Cruz. Hello. Thank you for having me here. And welcome. Thank you. And thank you for uh, coordinating, organizing, and just really conceiving this whole concept of, uh, of just being silent. And um, let's just talk a little bit about how that even came to you, right? Well, you know, when there was paper towels thrown at my people, that was, that's what prompted me because of the cruelty and disrespect that was shown to Puerto Ricanos. And that was what, what was, you know, what prompted me to do so. I knew I had to do something. I'm amazed by uh, how charged you are, even talking about it a year yes, later. I, you're like, well, teary-eyed, just yes, bringing it up. Yes. Um, because I get very it, emotional. I'm sorry. Well, no, no it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. No, do you and, and definitely uh, just be free. I, I, I appreciate that. And there's a, a transparency there in how it deeply impacted mm -hmm. the way you felt about yourself and your culture. That's right. And, uh, me too. I mean, I'm Puerto Rican too, so I get it. And, and I contributed. I was there with you yes, in yes, this whole you process. Did march with us. Yes, yes. yes. But I, I, I wanted to share with everyone uh, who's watching what uh, what this style of, of, uh, of uh, procession, of uh, just a way of just kind of fighting back without fighting, exactly. fighting back harmoniously, yes. energetically. Yes. Look, there's a lot of rallies, there's a lot of demonstrations. There's not a right and wrong, okay? But if you want to get people's attention, you hit them with the roar of silence. And the voice of the processions is in banner forms. Um, the Memoriam for Lost Lives, uh, USA Citizens, Surviving Trauma. Uh, this year I added the uh, exempt uh, Puerto Rico from the Jones Act, and of course, Rebuilding Puerto Rico. And, uh, and then, of course, there were the signs of the lips with the, uh, the fingers uh, announcing or basically reminding everyone to be silent. And right. um, I can share from firsthand experience how powerful that was to march all the way from 106th Street all the way to 57th Street in silence. And the, the way people responded yes. to us. Yes. Um, and while I know you wanted more people there, it was the first time out. We had hundreds of people, and we had the street closed down for yes, us. Yes, yes, and the police were wonderful. They, they protected, you know, as you very well know, they were so cooperative. And you're right, I mean, and everyone, because I had a luncheon for all the volunteers at my home, and we went around and spoke about their experience, and everyone was in... in, in, in you know, uh, on point with the same experience, that we were embraced. We were embraced by the spectators, um, and people actually, when they saw that it was a silent procession, they became silent, right. as you very well know. Yes, yes, it, it just kind of, it was like a, a nice pool of sea of just silence. Yes. And, and, and just this unified energy of just respecting those who had transitioned on 
right? Um, and and now it, the procession has expanded this year. Yes. And now there's going to be uh, a simultaneous procession happening in Washington. No, no, in it's Puerto gonna, Rico. It's going to be in Puerto Rico and uh, New York. Right. Um, you know, we thought that L.A. was going to do it, but that that just didn't, you know, it, it fell through. But it's, so it's okay. Puerto Rico it's and Puerto New York. Puerto Rico and New York, which is powerful because Puerto Rico really, the connection, you know, they are in compatibility with us and they're acknowledging and recognizing our efforts. Uh, one of the things that I'm doing this year that I added is posters. And behind USA Citizens, because we are demanding the same human rights afforded to all USA citizens. That's the demand of the procession overall. And from Puerto Rico, they sent me all their demands. And that's going to be carried in poster forms behind USA Citizens. So that behind USA Citizens is the voice directly from Puerto Rico. Nice. OK. Nice. Um, and of course, um, uh, so are people forming teams? Are there seven? Because <clears throat> I know everybody meets up at White Park. Yes. Uh, but uh, I, I'm <laughs> I, I'm almost positive this is going to be even bigger this year. Yes, it is. And so, <clears throat> if somebody's just listening now and they want to form a team, is there a, a sign up or something that they need to do? No, to all they need all they all they need to do is show up at 9:30 in the morning at White Park. Uh, Everyone is required to wear white clothing because that symbolizes that we come in peace with hope and faith. Because I still believe that we have to continue being hopeful and I still believe that we need to have faith in this government. Right. Okay. Um, I like that you're, you're really, <laughs> you're being very deliberate about your words and your intentions because everybody's fighting and it's kind of like well this is where we are and this is who we are and this is what we have to work with work with us yes yes um give us what's rightfully ours exactly exactly we, you know we are usa citizens and there's no reason why the puerto ricans and the island should be treated any less or any different they are, you know, this is a humanitarian procession. Nice. And all we are demanding is those equal human rights and treat us as human beings. I mean, that paper towel throwing was, yeah. th that really symbolized just how this government feels about Puerto Ricanos. Well, how they feel about anybody who's of color. I, I, well, that's true. <laughs> that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> exactly. However, we come in peace with faith and hope. And I love that. I love those words. Thank you so much, Carmen, for your efforts and for making sure that this happened again this year. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate that it has to happen again this year. However, it, it's a blessing that you're able to do it. Well, and so you guys, uh, for, if you want to participate in the silent procession, you uh, it's actually once again, it's uh, the silent procession New York City for PR is taking place September, uh, September, excuse me, 23rd at um, White Park uh, at East 106th Street. Make sure uh, White Park is located on 106th Street between Lexington and 3rd. Make sure you arrive there by 930 a.m. Um, there's going to be a lot of people there. And of course, Please come dressed in all white. It looks so beautiful. And the, the walk f will then proceed from uh, there, from 106 between 3rd and Lexington to Trump Towers at 57th Street and 5th Avenue. And uh, once again, everything is handled in complete silence. Uh, the procession will begin at 1045, but again, uh, we're advising that everyone arrive at 930. And if you're interested in obtaining more information on the silent procession, uh, you can visit them by going to Silent Procession NYC, the number four PR on Facebook. Okay, we have to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll hear about a platform showing the many faces of hip hop. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 